Last year, um, they were at least 500 or better against every other team in the league, and they have been since 1976. Kent Bazemore is checked in for Charlotte. Blake comes in for Jose Calderon. Now, normally that's a shot people make, but that's not really his bread and butter there. Thomas passes to Allen. Outside Leonard. From outside the arc, it's rebounded by Sharp. And guys, think about the history of the Spurs. They didn't come into the NBA until 1976 when they made the transition from the old ABA. Well, you talk about a fan base that is spoiled. I mean, nearly 40 years of beating every team in the league, more than they've been beaten by those teams. So just an incredible record. Outside Thomas. Now the dish to Humphreys. And nothing but hair on that one. That's a shot he's got to hit. I mean, you don't get too many better looks from that ring. Blake for three. Offensive rebound. And D out to the basement. Stolen by Allen. Here's Leonard. Finished off the break. Leonard's got seven points. You know, regardless of who starts the break, it seems like he's usually the one to finish it. And that's because of how well he attacks the rim on the dead run. Pulls up from the corner. To the wing right side. And Wright gets to Blake. Back to Wright. Leonard with the steal. Here's Allen. And he goes in for the dunk. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. Well, he may just be trying to get a break in the action to clear their heads. You know, a lot of their shots are rimming out. You wonder if their confidence isn't suffering at this point. I think that's a good time to call a timeout. If a team has a few fall the wrong way for them, just burn a timeout and let them forget about it. Regroup, talk about it, and refocus. Jeffy Green's checked in for the Hornets. Then for the Spurs, Terrence Jones is checked in for Humphreys. Allen comes in for Leonard. And it's Livingston in for Isaiah Thomas. Pass to Adrian. Here's Diaw. And he uses the glass on the way. Diaw's got it all tied up now for the Hornets. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. No, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. The second chance effort. He takes it up and lays it in. Biombo's got his first points of the game. Well, that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active, be energetic, and react as soon as the shot goes up. And it's right missing. They slipped into quite a funk here, Clark. I think that's a good word to describe it. I mean, the basket is looking awfully small to him at the moment. Offensive rebound. Here's Jones. Kicks it to Livingston. Back to Allen. There's the three. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. And it's a five-point San Antonio lead. Here's Bazemore, defended by Allen. Bazemore misses. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Snatched up. Allen. He feeds it to Livingston. Allen outside. He kicks it to Livingston. Pass to Biombo. Shot clock at six. Livingston dishes to Allen. Pass to Jones. 
And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Hornets trailed by five. And they'll probably let the clock wind down here. Exactly. No need to give the ball back before the end of the quarter. Jefferson kicks to Barnes. And it's going to be a three-second call. Here's Biombo. Livingston passes to Allen. Goes back up. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And a tight game here as we end the first half. It's San Antonio as they end the second quarter on a 15-6 run. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Nice game. Great performance by Isaiah Thomas. Play created a lot of opportunities for himself in the first couple of quarters. And I'll tell you what, he was smart with his shot making, too. Really took good ones. You know, points per shot attempted is really one of the undervalued stats in the game, and it's a real measurement of efficient scoring. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. Charlotte has their... today guarding against Thomas. He has 11 points and the one steal. On the court for San Antonio. Tony Allen is up there with Terrence Jones. Then there's Allen. Then there's Livingston. And it's Biondo at the pivot spot manning the middle. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Brick. Doris, over to you. Well, guys, Coach Greg Popovich, the reigning coach of the year, a big part of his approach is empowering players. He says, quote, it's a player's game, and they've got to take charge. Rather than try to manipulate them, he said, it's a great feeling when players get together and do things as a group. Kevin? Thanks, Doris. You know, giving his players room to lead and allowing them to take ownership, I mean, I think that's part of the genius of Popovich. With all that Sean Livingston went through with his horrific injury a few years back, you know, Steve, it's amazing just to see him out there on the floor playing basketball. Yeah, I remember seeing that live. It was one of the most awful things to see on the basketball court. And uh, I just have so much respect for Livingston, the way he's continued to grind it out and, and carve out a career for himself. He's become a very, very good player. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. A follow outside. Dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move to Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. Well, that's how you send it. Two hands and hammer it down. The Spurs making a switch here. Oladipo's post checked in. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Livingston. On the mark with the 15-footer. And the Spurs lead by five. And they made three of their first four shots here to start this half. Barnes dishes to Jefferson. Barnes can't get it to go. San Antonio leading by five. Deflects the pass. And stolen by a follow. To the inside. Intercepted. And there's the foul. It's on Aaron Aflalo. That'll be his second foul of the game. The Spurs making a switch here. Leonard's checked in. Here is Livingston. He's guarded by Calderon. Livingston no luck. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. 
None of the defenders wanted anything Clark to do with him on that chance. And I do not blame him at all, Clark. He was coming in with a bunch of steam and was ready to posterize whoever decided to get in his way. All right, I understand, fellas, but come on. You've got to challenge him a little bit at least. Dishes it to Jones. Poke loose. Jumps up. And Leonard with the block. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Barnes kicks to a follow. Adrian passes to Jefferson. Jones with it. To the paint. By himself. And Jefferson throws it down. Boy, the kind of moments you love to see. Excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Ooh. Yeah, turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. Hornets trail by three. Holderon dishes to Barnes. Here's Jefferson. And he says, right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Fellas, that two-hand monster slam was vicious. I don't think there was anyone, and I mean anyone, that could have stopped him on that one. I'm glad they didn't try. You don't want anybody getting hurt out here. And Oladipo has it in the corner. Can't get it to go. Jefferson with some nice deep. Charlotte's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Even though Charlotte was able to climb back into relevancy in the East last year, they still had trouble dealing with those strong teams out west. And Steve, this uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Yeah, you know what, guys? I love seeing this type of action. A competitive, compelling matchup. A lot of lead changes here so far. Yeah, six in total, folks. So this has been a great game. Both teams playing hard and really competing out there. Oladipo, good. And Charlotte isn't alone when it comes to East teams having trouble with the Western Conference. Yeah, they were 13-17 and 17 last year against the West. And, you know, the former Bobcats, current Hornets. But, you know, if they can get that number to around 500 this year, they'll have a great chance to move up in the Eastern picture. Here is Livingston. The feed now to Oladipo. Leonard attacking... And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. That's an exceptional play to take the bump and still get it up and down. Yeah, way to stay with it. And look to finish the play right there. Thomas checked in for San Antonio. Here's Jefferson. And he stops it. What a pass to set him up. Well, in a tie game, I mean, he is trying to carry this team all by himself. Thomas goes in. Over to the wing. Here's Biombo. Tips it back in. Jones has got six. Here's Calderon. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. It's tipped. Leonard with the steal. A wide open look here for Oladipo. Jones, no luck. That was a layup. You've got to knock that down. You've got to convert when you get those opportunities. Calderon kicks to Jefferson. Charlotte moving the ball around. The pass to Barnes. Four on the clock. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Offensive rebound. Jefferson. Makes it off the glass. Jefferson's got 25 points. And here is Thomas. 11 points in the game. Up top, Oladipo. Back to Thomas. Tries it from the top of the key. And that one hits back iron. 
Great defense there. You really have to challenge him at that range. Abuelo kicks to Jefferson.